Yeah, well... Uh, Alright, as usual, I'm going to have a sound test and uh, making sure everything goes well and also start sharing my video, alright? Okay, so let's see if you're uh, here with me, you're here with me Let's share the video out together, okay? Right Okay, now I believe uh, some of you was wondering why am I, where am I yesterday, alright? <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's share it out first, okay? And uh, we'll get we'll, we'll get all this up together, right? Okay, where am I today, right? Very nice place, huh? Okay, another nice place. <laughs> I always say it's very nice place, <laughs> but I don't know if to you is it a nice place. Okay, let's take a look. I'm in Chinatown, Singapore. Yes, I'm back in Singapore. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's go. Can you see that yellow and green building over there? Quite old. That one. Yeah. Okay. Now the now whoever lives there, they are millionaire. They are millionaire now. Okay. <laughs> Right, as usual, Chinatown is a place, uh, it's a tourist spot, okay, but uh, if you come in the morning, uh, I would say, I would say it is uh, still quite a very uh, reasonable, decent crowd, okay, but, but anyway, Chinatown is a place where you should come during the day. In the night, it's, uh, most of the locals will come for food, okay, and uh, also, uh, should I say, pubs and bars. <laughs> okay, there are plenty of gems here, right? So this is where this is uh, Chinatown. Of course, uh, you may be wondering, Chinatown is there a lot of Chinese? Of course, there are. <laughs> All right, so there are a lot of Chinese, local Chinese. Okay, yeah. So uh, we have many local Chinese, uh, and uh, many years back, have a lot of uh, Malaysians actually started to come in here to work, right? So these are all the heritage. These are all the heritage building that uh, Singapore is having, right? So we have uh, things like this, okay? Um, there are some some of my tourist friends who are actually telling me, okay, that uh, take a look at this. Uh, this is an overhead bridge, if you can see up there. It's an overhead bridge. So we have a uh, pavilion. It's a garden up there. So it's, a, it's actually a overhead bridge, but it's also a garden up there as well. So it's quite interesting. It's quite nice. If you happen to be here, you should go up and cross over to the other side all right <laughs> so these are this one this is the building I'm talking about the yellow and the green one that's uh, behind me right uh, it's a very iconic building residential area in Chinatown okay it's a uh, it's very long it's a it's very long in Singapore in Chinatown already okay so here over here this is uh, what you call a Zhen Zhu Fang yeah, Zhen Zhu Fang Ba, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I was young, uh, yeah, I always come here, right, with my cousins, and uh, because he stayed in the in in this area. Okay, uh, not really in this Chinatown area, but the next area in Ch beside Chinatown. So, uh, is it does it mean that Chinatown is really very China, uh, very China style? Uh, not really, not not really that kind of China style, but. Uh, we try to, but uh, it's just that we just keep it in the way that uh, a lot of uh, authentic, a lot of uh, authentic buildings, heritage building, the, where whereby those were the times whereby a lot of Chinese stay here. All right, so let's have a swing. Okay, let's take a look with this angle. Okay, I'm gonna stand up here so that you have a better, better look. Uh, a better view of uh, the building up here like this okay of course there's a a lot of changes it has been very very modernized nowadays okay Singapore we still keep all these heritage building well maintained we repaint them and uh, we still keep their outlook very I would say it's still very nice we build out the shelter to avoid the heat from the Sun sometimes the rain okay for the tourists so that it will still be very enjoyable trip for them <laughs> so when you come to Singapore this is also one of the place that you can come and visit okay but of course uh, it's a very short street you can just go from the left you turn to the right it only takes you about 10 minutes okay 10 minutes uh. <laughs> okay window shopping window shopping okay <laughs> all right so um, in Chinatown these are the small streets there are a lot of gems in within the 
all these small streets. So you can take a look at they have a street store. Okay, I think it's like a, somehow like a street market, but it's a Chinese style. Okay, so let's take a look over here. Right. So basically, you can see that this is uh, how it's going to look like. Right. So let me show you some gems. Singaporean, I was bringing you there. <laughs> Nobody know, okay. <laughs> Not many people know. All right, so let me bring you there. Okay, so with my pace, I think uh, two minutes, I should be at the end of the street already. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. <laughs> okay, so right now, let me see while waiting for me to reach to the other end. Okay, there's a jam out there. Then a lot of tourists actually stop here and that's it, and they U-turn. But they do not know there's a jam out there. Uh -huh. So let me show you there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, since young, uh, been here for many many years. Uh, yes. Uh, but for this past, actually not since young. <laughs> well, how can I say since young when I when I left this place for so long? <laughs> right. So let me see who who is here with me. All right. Okay. Hi KH, Zhao An, Zhao An, Ni Hao. Right, and uh, Matthew. Morning, good morning to you. Right, today I'm a, uh, I'm again a tour guide again. <laughs> All right, trip trip blogger. Huh? <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to explore all this uh, all this little gem in Singapore. All right, and also there are also places that we will take a look is because uh, there are places that the local when the, bro the when the local brings you there definitely you will enjoy it but i really cannot walk too long because it's drizzling <laughs> okay so right to the end of the street okay actually we still have a lot of things okay mm -hmm. so can you see okay can you see that uh can you see there will be places in every Singapore and a lot of people posted in Facebook in uh, all these uh, their Instagram did, did you realize they are all tourist spot but not many people actually know okay in in uh, our heritage building there are a lot of things you know and a lot of uh, locals actually like to visit during the night firstly value for money okay for beer for food okay as so well as for gathering okay and there are a lot of spa massages out here right and they are all authentic okay authentic one okay let's take a look here it's the main street on the other side okay so you can see there are food here okay on all this on all these uh, on this street yeah it seems like um, there are some attic okay there are some gems out here temple for visit all right so if you can see a hit, okay, if you can see a hit, the white color building, all right, the white color building, uh, uh, somehow uh, with a stripe, okay. So, people who are investing in property over the other side, that side, okay, if you can see that side, okay, this is a government house, but I would say it's going to be a most, most expensive government house in Singapore <laughs> because it's going to cost. Uh, almost a million almost one million okay for a government house it's not a private housing okay it's a government house so amazing right yeah so you see people who live in Singapore they always say when you come to food I, I, I can tell you I've been traveling around since from Europe to Australia to New Zealand all the way from Japan down to Indonesia I can tell you Singapore really really has the best price really has the best price you know okay you really have the best price for food it's not expensive it is not expensive you know okay so let's take a look taking picture on in this Temple Street okay Temple Street I think it can be quite nice as well all right <laughs> yeah okay Hi, Chuan Zhang, ni hao. Chuan Zhang, ni hao, Chuan Zhang. Uh, this is Singapore. That time you came, I didn't have the opportunity to meet you because I was just in the outside. This time it's different. If you come, I'll meet you better. Okay, so let's get moving. Come on. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. 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 Let's take a look.
okay, within uh, along the along the main main street. So you should actually take a look. You should actually move in, ride it in, and uh, see if you can actually get some deals down here. Okay, we have a lot of uh, things like ornaments, all these kind of things. Uh. okay, Chinese ornament that uh, you can you can find here. All right. So okay. So I'm uh, here with you today talking about something. Ah, so I, I have to get into, I have to get into the shelter. <laughs> I have to get into the shelter. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, it's it's a uh, sudden sudden downfall. <laughs> okay. Now, you see? Can you see all this? Interesting, right? <laughs> yeah. So interesting. Yes, it is. It is very interesting. So now. I am, uh, of course, I'm here sharing this. Uh, not, not forgetting, we are just uh, talking about you know, um, simple things, very, very simple things. Just enjoy, okay? Just enjoy the scenery if you like the scenery rather than my speech. <laughs> anyway, okay, thank you for watching. <laughs> All right, so uh, and when, you come to, when you come to investment, uh, today we're going to have a chat on investment small cut right what does it mean by the small cut right uh -huh. the small cut is very interesting right uh -huh. what does it mean did, did, did you realize that in this market there are a lot of people actually telling you a lot of retail trader especially retail trader I'm talking about retail trader including myself okay but a lot of retail trader retail trader that has not been through any trainings any institutional training knowledge that did not read up a proper one did you realize that they are always looking for something okay which is i have a small losses but i will have infinity profit okay, have you ever heard of it yeah yeah sawari cup kitty sawari cup so that's the point here and you look at this when you look at this this point of view when investors actually have this thing, when they actually have all this, they actually come in, coming in and they actually wanted to see in a way that when I do uh, forex trading, when I actually enter a trade, guess what? Guess what? I only expect myself to lose one dollar. And I expect myself to make a million dollars. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Am I right to say that? They are daydreaming, you know. They are ex extremely daydreaming. And uh, people will say me, okay, I pay you a cost fee. And I'm going to make, start making money a million dollars tomorrow. Oh, 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 that's a joke. Another joke. Sawarika, <laughs> Daki. Sawarika. So, you see, in this case, there, there, there are plenty of people actually in this world they have the wrong concept or perhaps I should say a misbelief uh, misunderstood so when I was in Taiwan you know when I was in Taiwan I was actually wanted to tell you that the people there are very different they are so different in a way that you know they, they actually tells me 我知道在投资里面我知道我要做多少 这个风险管理, so they know what's called the risk management. 我知道在, 在衡量这个输赢的时候呢, 其实我们都要知道说, 在这个输赢里面呢, 只要拉一个平衡点, exactly, you're right. You see? Okay, so 拉一个平衡点. Yeah, I agree. You are very right. Yeah. So that's the thing. When you are actually doing an investment please make sure you know something out there it should be done and this thing out there to be done please make sure it has to be done so that you know when a lot of people starting to have this kind of concept whereby okay whereby they are looking for looking for a so-called uh, so-called what should I say small losses but big profits but that is actually kind of a daydreaming am I right a lot of people will see that it's actually quite impossible so you are telling me that you can only win you cannot lose so is that kind of attitude that in life that a lot of people are having and a lot of people are actually telling us that uh, 
It should be that way. It should be that way. Because I can only win, I cannot lose. You know? I am the boss. I'm a, I'm a top, top producer. No, I can only win, I cannot lose. Bullshit. <laughs> How many success, successful men actually met failure before they actually become success? Correct? Right. So, that is what I meant. When you are actually becoming successful, but before that, you will meet a lot of failure. So that's the point. When you come to investment as well, when you come to investment as well, when you see things like this, I want to only have uh, 10 pips of uh, SL, but I want to have uh, 500 pips of TP. You should know, you jolly well know that it's not the way. How about the solution? A lot of people are making this, are having this kind of concept. But when they are having this kind of concept, did you realize that until now, until today, they are still not making a lot of money. They are, they are, they are still struggling with the trades. They are still trying to post Facebook when, once they have 100 pips. Uh, I believe these two days, there will be people start to posting, start, start posting on their Facebook, telling you I have uh, make 100 pips, 200 pips, okay, because of pound, because of euro, I can tell you. Yeah, exactly. Like yesterday, in the morning, about in the late, late morning, early afternoon, there are, there, there are people actually hit a TP in uh, pound cat, pound dollar, and uh, pound franc, correct? Uh, not pound franc, actually. Yeah, pound franc, yeah. <laughs> correct, correct. Yeah, pound franc since Monday. Then you see, these people actually hit the profit. And they start to post, maybe say, I got a hundred pips, I got two hundred pips. But did you notice that when, it, when was the last post before they post this? Maybe two months ago? Maybe five months ago? Wow! <laughs> so you see, these people actually taking forex trading as a, as a windfall. You know the meaning of windfall? Yeah? You do not know the meaning of windfall, it's okay. Just like you strike 4D, just like Tai Ho, you know? It's about all this. You know? So, let's see. When you are talking about windfall, sometimes you have, sometimes you don't have. Am I right? Yeah, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't get it. Am I right? Okay, so that is the point. Now, did you make investment as a financial planning? Or you just take it? Okay, if I cannot make money here, of course you can leave. You can find something else. Maybe this thing is not suitable for you. Am I right? I am, I am a person who actually been through and uh, experienced a lot whereby I can see not all of us are cut out to be a good salesperson. Not all of us are cut out to be bosses, directors, even traders. So end of the day, you must know where you stand. Ah, that is very important. So when the moment you know where you stand, okay, you will actually experience something. You will get to know. You will get to know that. Okay, now, I know myself. I'm going to give myself a chance, the time to really nurture my trading skill. So I must get my concept correct first. If my concept is not right, then it's very, very difficult. Because it's very difficult for you to actually get the right concept, then the knowledge will never go into you. Never. It's true. Okay, <laughs> well, some people may say, ah, I don't want to see your face. Of course you don't want to see my face. My face is not USD. You, of course you won't want to see my face, am I right? Okay, right, so let's have a look. Spin for one minute. No lah, just 30 seconds. This is what I meant by the garden, okay. This is the overhead bridge. Okay, it links to different exits of the shopping mall, buildings, and cross to the next street. All right. Is where we were just now. Okay, so over here, a lot of us actually was thinking that once I going to have the profit, I should have maximized the profit. I want to run for a hundred pips, a two hundred pips. It's a windfall, but like I say, I want it to be, I want it to be a financial planning. You know, make sure that you actually when you trade forex your profit actually you are making use of this profit as a financial planning and you see 
can you sometimes realize that a lot of people and uh, posting their marketing on the advertisement marketing them, themselves did you realize that they show you a one whole stretch of green color in their account history right ah so you see let's take a look over here okay these are the places where the government built on the bridge like a park like a small garden okay for people for the old senior people to sit down here to have a chat okay play some chess game card games to <laughs> exercise their brain <laughs> okay singapore has a quite a high high percentage of uh, dementia so singapore government actually built all this for the old senior citizens to have some leisure and at the same time work their brain work their mind aha uh -huh. okay so come back here to be a very good trader i will say okay please have a correct mindset if you think that you can't master the skill and you t and you actually tell yourself that this is lousy this is a scam well too bad you're not cut out for that because do you know in anything that's involved in money it's a real great challenge in your psychology it's a real great challenge in your mindset anyone who cannot accept the challenge here like that okay we can understand there are plenty of them who are actually living in their comfort zone i can understand they can understand you can understand am i right so once you can understand their logic then why not have a tweet of it invert it invert the mindset so you know since you already know that this is the kind of a mindset then why we shall invert it how do i what, what do i mean by inverted okay inverting it means inverted do an inversion okay since you know a lot of us in this market a lot of us in this market we are still struggling we are still struggling to have a 200 pips a day 500 pips a day but when we cut loss we cut at 10 pip we cut at 20 pip did you realize a, a lot of chart that actually went up but if you are selling it should be going down but it went up 10 20 and you are so afraid and you cut it then later it went down all the way and you and you will be now there cursing oh what the hell man i shouldn't have done that correct a lot of us actually have this kind of feeling yep it is true <laughs> so many of us including myself ah i have I, I had this feeling many many years ago but now i learned to let go you know so remember invert the invert the thoughts since i want to cut at 20 or 10 pip or 5 pip why not we invert it invert the mindset that i'm going to collect the profit five pips a day ten pips a day okay if there's opportunity we will still look at the support resistor the opportunity in our acs chart to grab the opportunity for more pips am i right if not okay now when it comes we take five pips five pips five pips but it doesn't mean that i'm have to incur a lot of losses since you say inversion well not really as well okay but do you know uh, there's a little trick if you enter correctly in forex trading in forex market the price tends to come back to where it should be to where your entry is why there's a there, there's reason behind it okay there's reason behind it it's a concrete reason behind it so now remember how to do the inversion okay that inversion is very important so a lot of us actually want to collect so many pips just because you are telling yourself that i have no time i have no i have no time i have no this i know that come on it's all excuses we are all adults already we are no longer like kids anymore don't behave like children don't behave like a naughty boy like i told you myself i am one <laughs> i was one i was one not now <laughs> so I, I i want to tell you is that you know when when actually you can see since a lot of people are trying to cut their losses at 5 pips, 10 pips but trying to grab 100 pips, 200 pips but until today they are still not making profit that means something is wrong 90% no I always say 95% of the traders are all losers and bloody hell they are so losers <laughs> I add in the bloody hell <laughs> it's not in my script <laughs> okay so so later have a two okay really honestly myself I'm a bloody hell trader as well seriously 
I actually told myself that I want to have 200 beeps a day. <laughs> but actually, that doesn't work. And in the end, I realized, you know, at the time when you actually, when you actually try to grab that much, but you cannot make it. So I have seen so many people trying to work on SL10 p SL5 p because I want to lose a little bit, but I want to make a lot of profit, this kind of mindset. Come on, they are stingy. Okay, these people are stingy. They don't know what is called investment. All right, all right, Anna. Even, even I say, even I say, if you want to know a girl in a pub, you better buy her a drink. How can you not buying her any drink and you get to know her? Am I right? There's no free lunch in this world. So your mindset is the lunch. Do you think it's going to be free? No, unlikely. So you see, put it this way. You have to see that now. There are plenty of people actually out there since they want to have 5 pips of SL, 10 pips of SL and they want to grab 100 pips. But until today, they, are st they still belong to the category of 95% sore loser. <laughs> so since that's the case, invert. Invert the way. Invert the way whereby 5%, uh, sorry, you'll be a 5% which you're going to take 5 pips a day. All right. And make sure your trigger point is correct and let it go. Let the chart flow with a correct margin, risk management. I can tell you this. There, there is really a secret which I cannot say it out loudly, okay, in public. So it's going to come back one day. Trust me for that. All right, people who attended my class, they know the secret. All right, so it's the same. Yeah, yesterday I uh, no, not yesterday. Today is. Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. There are people who actually hold a power frame. Then, finally yesterday, it went back. It hit the TP. And again, they know, oh yeah, I know because I can tell where it's going. It's very obvious, okay? Because we know wherever the entry price is, as long as I can read the chart, I know it will come back, All right? That is the chart. That is the trick. But a lot of forex traders are saying that, how can you tell the future? Of course, we can't tell the future. Nobody can tell. Even Warren Buffett, Jamie Buffett also can't tell. So same thing. Me, I can't tell as well. So manage your risk, manage your margin. And that is definitely the time. That is definitely the trick in Forex trading to make some bucks. Okay, right. So now I'm not going to hold up your time for too long because tomorrow I'm going to share with you even more. All right, today is Wednesday and the next day will be Thursday. So likely I'm going to see you again and with the next the next topic. Well, today we have uh, come to Chinatown. Uh, how about how about let's go to somewhere else in Singapore that uh, you wish to go and uh, I can bring you there. <laughs> let's just let me know. I will bring you there. Okay. So now let me walk back. Okay. Let me walk back there. Okay. Sawarikap. Sawarikap. Are you a good boy? <laughs> oh, right. So that is the that's the that's the trick here. So remember, in forex trading, there are a lot of theory. There are a lot of retail trader they don't know, and a lot of forex teacher they don't teach because it's too long winded to teach that theory. Okay. Yesterday I was having a class. I'm not. I I'm not sure if uh, I was having a small program. Um, to, edu to, to share with the public about the support and resistance. I'm not sure if you're there that uh, you have watched my video. If you have not, uh, the video is still in my page. You can go and have a look. All right. So, yep, that's, uh, that's about it. So, I'm willing to share. I hope you are willing to share as well. <laughs> All right. So, nah, this, uh, today's a Wednesday. It's a midweek. It should be the peak of your performance. So, let's do something and get it done all right i'm going to see you in the afternoon okay i'm back in singapore <laughs> okay i'm back in singapore all right so i want you to see you very very soon everything going to run very smoothly i actually reached singapore this morning about i think one plus two and i uh, have a little talk meeting until about two plus three <laughs> i think it's about there so I woke up at 6.30 this morning. Oh, 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 oh. Right, so tonight, I'm going to see you very soon. This afternoon. Okay, guys, enjoy yourself. Have a great day. All right, I hope you like the scenery that I show you in Chinatown. The, tomorrow, we are going somewhere else. Okay, uh, very soon, we are going to all the parks in Singapore. 
and all the residential, different kind of residential, different level of residential in Singapore as well to see there are many gems out there. All right. Okay. So Eric Day from Sing Eric Day from Singapore, <laughs> ACS Learning Hub. I see you again. I wish you have a good day. All right. See you. Oh, yeah, I just saw the comments. So many comments suddenly come in. I didn't, I, I didn't know why suddenly there are so many comments. Hi, BB. Hi, Santa. Oh, hi, Liu. Kaprung Kap, Kitty. Okay. It's another street, busy street, I believe. Okay, thank you so much. I'm going to see you in the afternoon. Let's make the profit together uh, again every day. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I see you again. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you.